Kia ora friends, welcome back to paradise. Today we're going to be taking a bit of a look at resource gathering and how to essentially make our zombies do all of the work for us. Now first of all, we're just going to get rid of these little followers. We're going to have a few zombies on the screen, we don't want to get them confused with anything else, so I thank you for your help, but it will no longer be needed. Now, we need to build a base. For whatever reason, you can only build it in the wild forest. There seem to be resource nodes all over the map, but for whatever reason, it just the, the wild forest is the only place that I could build. The first thing we're going to need to do is grab some wood. So there's a couple of wood nodes around, so we'll go and take a look at those. As you can see, there's little wood resources that we can pick up so what we're going to do is build our first pylon these pylons are what we're going to use to assign tasks to our zombies now the building or clipping is pretty bad in this so you have to find somewhere to pop it down and we can just open up the menu now it looks confusing but it's pretty simple we can equip weapons and armor to your zombies to either attack or protect themselves on the right hand side uh, is the list of tasks that we can assign them inside and outside of combat so if we sit, if we hit collect out of combat this zombie is essentially going to collect any resources that are inside the kind of area around this pylon so we'll just wait and we'll see, look, there he goes, straight away. Straight to work. You don't have to feed them, you don't have to pay them. They just do their thing. And that's it, wood. Very, very simple. The next thing we want to do is we're going to need to collect water. Now, it's essentially exactly the same as collecting wood, except we need to put it beside some water. So along here is a river. So anywhere along here works. I've chosen down in the bottom corner here just because there didn't seem to be any zombies around and it never it never really got attacked. So just like our wood collecting pylon, we can tasks tasks task these zombies with collecting water. Now the only thing we need to do is equip them with a bucket in order to be able to grab the water. Again, we just hit collect out of combat. And, and that's it. Nice and simple. As you can see, they're just going to go back and forward to the water, tip it in our pylon, and that's going to go straight back to our base. Now, the last resource, and this was really confusing to me, we'll build a pylon. Now, you're tasked with planting vegetables. Quite early on, you get a packet of seeds from one of the missions that you do. But it's not quite as simple as just equipping him with the seeds and away we go. Because no, that would just be way too easy. So we'll pop him the seeds. We will head over and task him with using them inside and outside of combat. We'll hit collect as well. And we'll just see what he does. As you can see, he does a whole bunch of nothing. Oh, where's he going? Oh, what's he got there? He's got some grass. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. You're too kind. So what we need to do is we need to assign another zombie to do another task. So we'll head to config 2 and we'll equip the second zombie with a pickaxe. And we will assign him to use it inside and outside of combat. We'll hit collect as well. We'll give him a red suit just so we can see the difference between the two zombies. Now, the pickaxe is not available straight away. You do get it from completing a story mission. So just continue on and eventually you'll get the pickaxe. As you can see, he dug a hole. Old mate's going to plant it. When that's ready... We've got them both set to collect, and that's it. 
That's our vegetable garden planted and ready. I'm not sure that I'd want to eat what these guys grew. Ugh. So we'll head back down to our water collecting pylon. And what we can do now is we can just streamline this. So we'll remove a couple of zombies from collecting water. We'll add one to plant some seeds. And we'll give the other one a pickaxe. And we'll do the same thing. We'll hit use in and out of combat. And we'll hit collect. And then we'll go to config 3. So you can have three separate... Well, separate. You can have three separate tasks working out of one pylon. Which is pretty cool. There's absolutely no tutorial for this that I could find. So you kind of just have to figure it out. So we'll pop in some clothes. Just so we can tell the difference. We'll give him inside and outside of combat. We'll make him collect. And now this is like its own little resource gathering hub. We've got two guys collecting water. We've got two creating some vegetables. Brilliant. Brilliant. What more can we want? Alright, so we have our resources being made and gathered. What we need to do now is defend it. So we'll add some traps to this little area and we'll assign some of our zombies as guards and we'll assign some of them as, like, workers, I, I guess. So we'll pop a trap down. Again, the clipping is atrocious. I don't know what they were thinking, making a building game with such, like, horrible building. The the walls snap together really well, but for whatever reason, that's that's it. So what we'll do now is we'll assign some zombies. We'll, we'll, four, we'll put four of them in. We'll give them some weapons. Yeah, we'll give them some flamethrowers. And we'll give them some armor. We've got them to use inside and outside of combat. We'll take off collection because we don't want them to do anything but guard. And we'll put patrol on. So, now they're just going to wander around. But as you can see, they're not using the trap. The trap's not working at all. So if any zombies come, these guys are just going to run up to it and try and burn it. And defeats the purpose of the trap. So what we need to do now is add another zombie and another task. So again, we've got his pickaxe, we've got some armor. We'll take off collection. We'll take off use inside and outside of combat. And we'll just hit activate. That's all we want him to do is activate anything that is in his area. So as you can see, God, I love it how they just fire out. Ponk. So he's going to wander around. He's going to look for something to do. Oh, has he seen it? There he is. And so now that trap is just going to be constantly working. So when any zombies come into the area, this just works with any trap as well. You can see the clipping is just it's terrible. So we'll pop down this like slicey gate thing and that's it. So now we've got our zombies defending our base. We've got some traps and we've also got some, what should we do? We'll, we'll add some fire. We'll add some fire to this. So we'll pop this down, but we've only got one zombie and there's two kind of uh, levers. So we need to add a second zombie to our use guys. Our use team. So we'll pop another one on. He's going to come out. And he is now going to go and use the other thing. There we go. Look at that. And now we've got some fire happening as well. Now, for whatever reason, the two guys in red will do this for a certain amount of time. And then they'll swap positions. It's, I don't know, maybe they get tired of, they get bored of one job. Who, who knows? So, what we'll do now is we'll get rid of all the evidence here. Thank you for your help. And we'll head up to my main base and I'll just show you how I've got it all set up. Thank you so much for coming to hang out with me today. I really do appreciate it. Welcome to Paradise is so much fun. And I just found that the menus and the configuration 
was all very confusing. So I really do hope this helped. And we'll catch you next time. Ciao.